This story is about emptying your mind and finding inner peace amidst the chaos of life. It's a story about how cultivating inner peace can lead to a more fulfilling and successful life. It uses the historical context of ancient Rome, with a character named Marcus seeking the wisdom of the Stoic master Seneca to explore the timeless ideas of Stoicism. Let's begin the story now. In the hot sands of old Rome, where marble echoed sounds of gladiator fights and chariot races, lived Marcus Tullius, a man filled with big dreams. His mind, a carriage pulled by a thousand worries, chased after fame and fortune, never finding peace. One day, a rumor like a desert breeze reached Marcus's ears and led him to Seneca, a philosopher known for staying calm. Motivated by a desire for inner peace, Marcus set out on a challenging journey across the empire. Days turned into weeks as he walked through hot sands and tricky mountains, finally reaching Seneca's simple house surrounded by olive trees. He found the philosopher by a babbling stream, eyes closed in deep thought, beard touched by sunlight. With his heart beating fast, Marcus shared his troubled thoughts. Seneca, he begged, my mind is full of worries, a servant to passing desires. Teach me the stoic way to find peace. Seneca opened his eyes, his wisdom shining within them. Marcus, he said, his voice smooth, the key to peace is not in overcoming desire, but in understanding its nature. Come, let's test your spirit. He took Marcus to a courtyard with a pool reflecting the blue sky. Next to it was a big clay jar filled with clear water. Your task, Seneca said, is to empty this jar into that small cup, drop by drop. Marcus laughed. How could such a small cup hold the entire jar? Yet he took on the challenge. Hours passed as he scooped and poured, frustration twisting his forehead. The jar, tauntingly, stayed almost full. Instead of calming down, his mind roared like a hungry lion. Seneca watched knowingly. Marcus, he said, putting a hand on his shoulder. You're pushing too hard, but forgetting the first and most important step. To empty the jar, you must first empty your mind. Confusion filled Marcus's eyes. But how, he muttered. Seneca smiled like a summer breeze. Let go, he said. Let go of past victories and future fears. Be present in this moment with each scoop, each drop. Flow like the water. Marcus took a deep breath, releasing his anxiety. He stopped pushing and instead became the flow. The sound of water, the cool touch of clay, filled his senses. His restless mind turned into a calm lake reflecting the moonlit sky. And then, a miracle. The jar seemed to respond to Marcus's newfound calmness. With each scoop, the water flowed effortlessly and the jar slowly emptied. Finally, with a gentle ripple, the last drop found its way into the tiny cup. Marcus, amazed, looked at Seneca, understanding growing in his heart. See, Marcus, Seneca said, when you empty your mind, the universe flows through you. You become one with the task, and all worries become mere whispers in the wind. From that day on, Marcus carried Seneca's wisdom like a precious shield. He learned that true peace was inside, waiting to be found in the focused present moment. His once frenzied ambition slowed down, its reins handed over to the gentle pull of acceptance and reason. As Marcus walked back to Rome, the desert winds no longer whispered worries but sang an old song of stoic calmness. This beautifully adapted story retains the core stoic message of the original while immersing us in the rich historical context of ancient Rome. Here are the key lessons we can learn, lessons we can use in our lives. Practice mindfulness. Incorporate simple practices like meditation, breathing exercises, or focused activities like pouring tea to cultivate present moment awareness and calm the mind. Accept what you cannot control. 
recognize that anxieties often stem from worrying about things beyond our control. Instead of resisting this reality, accept it and focus on what you can control – your thoughts, actions and reactions. Let go of perfectionism. Striving for unattainable ideals only fuels frustration and anxiety. Embrace the good enough and accept that imperfections are part of life's tapestry. Flow with the universe. Life is a dynamic process, not a rigid plan. Learn to adapt to its ebbs and flows, trusting that challenges and opportunities are part of a journey towards your potential. Focus on the present moment. The past is gone, the future is yet to come, all we have is now. Savor the simple joys of the present, the sound of rain, the warmth of sunlight, the taste of food, and find peace in the beauty of this very moment. This is not just a story from ancient Rome, it's a stoic blueprint for modern life, a map to navigate the anxieties and ambitions of our own tumultuous times. So empty your mind, focus on the task at hand, and let the quiet wisdom of Seneca guide you. Remember, your greatest victory lies not in the roar of the crowd, but in the stillness of your own mind. Remember the Stoic path is a journey, not a destination. Be patient with yourself, practice these lessons daily, and watch as your inner peace blossoms like a rose in the garden of your mind. Did Seneca and Marcus resonate with you? Share your thoughts below. Let's build a community focused on calm, strength and stoic spirit. Share how you'll use this wisdom in your life. Like and subscribe for more stoic wisdom bites.